Good morning, my love. So today is Monday. I had a very, very busy week last week. I was sort of in and out of the house, but I wasn't really in the house too much. So the house is a mess. It's freaking me out. You guys know how much I love a clean house. It sets me up for my week. I feel focused and I feel like I can do what I need to do without thinking, oh my God, I need to put the laundry on. I need to do this, I need to do that. It just makes me stay focused. So that's what I'm gonna do for some of today. Like literally the whole house is not what I want it to be. The laundry needs to do, the kitchen needs to tidy, and the bedroom needs to do, my office. <sighs> a lot of you say when you watch my vlogs that you find watching me clean very satisfying. And I agree, like when I'm watching other people clean, I completely find it satisfying. Um, because it's me, I'm just like, I'm just cleaning, you know, but I do get it because I watch other people clean on YouTube all the time. <laughs> I'm getting a wig made for the very first time today. I've never had a wig made. Oh, I'm looking very, very forward to it. It should be fun. I am a little bit scared though. Um, the company that I'm getting the hair from, their hair is really, really good. So it should be fine. They're coming to the house to do it at around four. It is currently 10. 26 so i guess i better get started cleaning i'm gonna feed ayla first gonna give her some breakfast she woke up about an hour ago um i don't feed her as soon as she wakes up because she kind of she's kind of like me when she wakes up she kind of just doesn't want to do anything doesn't want to talk to anyone doesn't want to eat just wants to like sit with her thoughts <laughs> so i'm gonna get her fed up and then start cleaning <laughs> dozing off she's gonna have her afternoon nap so i'm gonna eat this and then carry on cleaning just a little break this girl literally just woke up out of her sleep smelt food <laughs>
this is my current situation for my office. It's an absolute mess. But honestly, I've cleaned so much of the house, I don't know if I even have the strength to get this done. I feel like I need a whole day to get this office done. It's, it's kind of just a mess. I'm gonna do like a rough clean of it. I don't even know if I can do a rough clean. Like I think I just need, can I do a rough clean? The only thing is, is that if I start doing a rough clean then I won't stop, I'll just carry on and then I'll be exhausted. I don't know why I'm just talking to myself right now. I do it very often. I don't know if I can do this. Can I do it? Should I do it? Should I just start it? My nail's about to come off, it's so sore. Okay, the time is 2.40. Hairdressers coming around in an hour and 20 minutes. Let's just see what I can get done in like 20 minutes or half an hour. <laughs> It's been about half an hour and this is where I'm at with my office. So my desk is tidy, this back bit is pretty tidy, sofa's looking cute. Now I've got to go through this stuff, I've got more stuff in one of the hallways that I need to go through and put back. All of this section needs organising, there's so much I've got to get rid of. But yeah, in half an hour, I have not done too bad. I'm really, really glad that I made the start. I feel a lot better. I'm not going to do any more cleaning for today. There's definitely more organising and cleaning that I could do. So I'm just going to wait for the hairdresser to come do my hair. I am going to film some bits of her doing my hair. And then I'm going to give myself a little pamper either tonight or tomorrow. I haven't decided. So yeah, I need a good old pamper. I've had a comment before that said like something along the lines of, oh, like you talk about pampering and stuff so much and is that all you do? First of all, you're on a beauty channel. Second of all, I like self-care. Now self-care doesn't necessarily have to be face masks and stuff, but this is what makes me feel good. So my house being clean, that makes me feel really good. Putting on a face mask and just pampering myself, that makes me feel really good. Changing my bed sheets, that makes me feel really good. Listening to music. It could be anything personal to you, but I do it weekly. I didn't do it last week, but when I don't put self-care as a priority, I really, really feel it. So when I'm not taking care of myself and when I'm not being about my business and my family, when I'm not doing all of these things, I really, really feel it. And it makes a big difference to my moods and things like that. So that's why I talk about it a lot. I think it's important. If if having a face mask and throwing yourself a bath doesn't make you feel any better, then there's definitely other things that you could do, but this is just personal to me. Although I've never, ever, ever heard anyone have a shower and it would make them feel worse. Do you know what I mean? Like showers, showers, you're that bitch. Seriously, showers are that bitch. But anyway, I'm going to chill until the lady comes and I'll speak to you guys soon. <laughs>
Okay guys, so this is the wig. I love it so much. I haven't had like weave for a very long time. So like, I'm just like remembering what it's like. It is super heavy. I have missed long curly hair, but it's back. Anyway, it's like past 12 right now. We didn't manage to start until later on, so this is why I'm running a bit late. So I am going to just continue with my pamper tomorrow, do a face mask, teeth white and all that. And I'll go through some of my routine with you and catch up with you guys there. Good Welcome night. to my bathroom. So I went yesterday and got my nails fixed, finally. I've been really liking red on my nails recently, it kind of makes me feel like... A bad bitch. Anyway, so the last time I updated you, I got my wig done. Love it. I haven't slept with it on or anything, like I took it off that same day. I've got to get some products um, to help it stick down or whatever, so I'm going to go and do that today. But first I'm going to pamper myself. I was meant to do my face mask and stuff yesterday, but I really wanted to finish my Tokyo vlog. I made that a priority instead and thought I would just film this today. I have already washed my face. And the face wash that I washed my face with today is this Glam Glow Face Wash. So this is their Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioner Cleanser. I've been using this for a little while now. I'd say a couple of weeks. I'm not exactly too sure how I feel about it. It definitely makes my skin feel really, really clean. The smell's a little bit odd though. But it doesn't really have a smell, but at the same time it does. But it just smells like... I don't know how to explain it, but I'm not too sure on the scent. But yeah, it does make my skin feel really, really clean. And it is definitely gentle, but I'm not like... I haven't noticed anything significantly different so far. I'm going to put on a face mask now. The face mask that I'm going to use today is this one by Glam Glow. And this is their Super Mud Face Mask. mask is on and now I'm going to whiten my teeth. This mask has to fully dry before it comes off so it's better to just like chill or do something else in between it anyway. It sort of tingles this mask but you can definitely feel it but the tingling only lasts for a few minutes and then there's nothing. It's not painful but it is a very it's a very strong tingle. If I didn't know that it tingles, I'd probably feel like I'm having a major reaction right now. Can you see it's starting to dry up already? So all of my face will be this colour eventually. Most of you will know this anyway, but the teeth whitening kit that I use is by High Smile. So you guys see me use High Smile quite a lot on this channel. And some of you say that you don't, you've tried like... I'm gonna sneeze. Oh. Fun fact about me, no word of a lie, I sneeze about a hundred times a day. No joke. So yeah, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, some people say that they don't like mouth guards when it comes to teeth whitening. High Smile do actually have a teeth whitening pen as well, I'm going to show it to you. So they have this teeth whitening pen. So what you do with this is you brush your teeth, you smile, you twist this, apply it on your teeth. Like that, like no one. <laughs> keep smiling for a minute and then like you can lower your mouth and then you keep it on for 30 minutes and then you rinse your mouth. The only reason why I don't use this one as much, this one I prefer for on the go. I like to use this one more because this one takes 10 minutes whereas this one takes 30 minutes. So I have already brushed my teeth. This is drying up really quick so I'm just going to pop this in my mouth for 10 minutes and then I will see you in a minute. Okay, teeth are whitened. I am going to, oh my god, I need to wash that one. I'm just going to wash this face mask off my face. Face is feeling very, very good right now. Now I'm just going to tone. So I wasn't really a person that used to tone. And then I went on like a little trip with Ula Henriksen. I had a little skin analysis with Ula himself. I don't really have it as much anymore, but I'm going to zoom in and show you. So around here, it's improved so, so much. But I had these little spots here, I had like a cluster of them all round here. And it was just truly just annoying for like makeup tutorials and stuff when I'm doing like my closing pictures. I just had like this cluster of milia. And milia, I did learn this in college as well, but milia is basically excess sebum. It's not really like a spot because a spot is like either a papule or a pustule, but milia is like you can't get it out with squeezing, like it's just there. I used to have one here when I was growing up and then one day it just fell off. 
don't know. Ula recommended me a lot of products that I have been using, I have been trying actually. A lot of the products that I tried, I have now run out of. One of the things that he recommended was this Dark Spot Toner. It is truly amazing. I have got everyone on this, like all of my family have been on this. And what I do with it is I get a cotton pad, I put it on the cotton pad, and I just press it on my skin like this. And then what I do is I get the other side, sort of fold it over, I'll put some more product on, and I rest it on that area just for a few seconds, just so the toner can really work in it. This has helped that area so, so much. I'm going to keep doing it. After I do that, I'm going to moisturise. So I use different moisturisers in the day and in the night time. So it's the daytime now. So I'm going to go in with a nice daytime moisturiser. Sometimes I like to use like an oil or a serum as well. Usually I like to put oil first and then the moisturiser. But some of the people in my comments have been telling me to use the oil after my moisturiser. And I don't know what is the correct way now. I've always been taught to put oil then moisturizer on and i just don't really know what's best like, let me know in the comments if you know what one's actually best today i'm just going to use a serum i am going to use this serum here it is an amazing brand an amazing product i'm just going to do a few pumps all over my face when i cleanse i cleansed my neck as well um, also with the toner, I toned my neck also, so make sure you've got your neck. The only product I don't use on my neck is like a face mask, I'm not really too sure why. It's just a lot of effort to like clean off. So the serum's on and now I'm going to moisturise. Today I'm going to use this moisturiser by Clinique. This is their dramatically different moisturiser for dry to very dry skin. So my skin is normal to dry, but it can get quite dry sometimes. So a lot of the time I use products for dry skin, just so it can like be extra moisturized. Next thing I'm gonna use is this Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Ula's products smell so good. The last thing that I need, which is not in here, I will be right back. This lip balm, this is by Dr. Paul Paul. This is their original balm. I have literally been using this lip balm like it's going out of fashion. It's amazing. It's very similar to Carmex. Maybe a little bit thicker than Carmex. It doesn't have a scent like Carmex, but mm, it's so good. It lasts for ages as well. Okay, my pamper is done. I feel really, really good. Nails are done. My skin is all prepped. The only thing I need to get done now is my eyebrows. I've got some stray hairs here that I want to get rid of. I'm not going to apply any makeup today. I just want these products to like work in my skin nicely. I'm going to drink lots of water today. I'm off now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Take care. Mwah.